Greetings everyone and welcome back to Night of the Dead. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going back out to Snowfield because there's a couple of things I want to do. One involves a drone and the other involves the underground facility. You know that thing I couldn't actually find the entrance of? Yeah, it turns out looking at the video footage that I probably look right at the entrance and didn't realize what I was seeing. So we're going to be putting that to the test. Now, it is day 25 and it's about noon, so let's talk about some stuff before we leave. One, let's talk about the day 25 horde, which we fought in the last episode. The changes to the base definitely did seem to make a difference. Very few of the... Um, the majors, you know, the desert ones with the flamethrowers, were actually making it through. As a matter of fact, the guillotine over there killed at least two of them by itself. And from what I saw, only one made it to the springboards. And he got knocked off by the first one. So there are five now, of course. And I think a lot of the reason for that was initial damage that was being caused by the shocker. See, I saw a couple of guys up here get vaporized from down below. And it was doing damage to the ones that were passing. There were a lot of bags around it. Just saying. Now, there has been some discussion about placement. And that I should put it like over here and hover it in midair. Maybe we do something like that in the future. For now, however, I think it's good. You know, I think once we get the shocker coming in, you know, the, um, the Western Grasslands uh, Major, that's when we're going to have to revisit some stuff. Uh, it has been suggested that I put spikes down here, just like this one over here. Just put them underneath the pendulum. That's definitely something we can look into. And I think I might have the connections for that. You know, it's not something that's running all the time. It just activates when somebody steps on it. So I don't think it would be an electrical problem. And it looks like my horde has showed up. You guys done yet? All right, so let's talk about the uh, desert because I did go back to the refinery area and uh, I made some changes. So I went out there with one, another drone, and two, two more solar panels. I put the solar panels down and I put the other drone down. The third drone is set to repair. By the way, I actually had to wait until six, even though at five it was bright and sunny and the sun was like right up there, the solar hadn't turned on yet. It doesn't turn on until 6. I'm guessing it's going to stop at 1800 then. But whatever. Anyway, by the time I got down there, it had reloaded all of them and they were all going. So I, like I said, I have a new drone down there. I have two new solar panels. So when I left, it was consuming 300 power, was producing more than 600. So I'm guessing that's going to help. As long as things don't break, I think everything should be fine to go through the night to the next morning. I do want to pop out there later, though, you know, after I know the harvest has been done, because I want to get the crude. I also want to make sure things are going the way I expected them to go. So I'm just going to do that. Now, of course, we're going to have giants tonight, and that's going to be fun, but I do believe we're all ready for that. Like I said, I might add a couple of more spikes over there. We'll see how that's going to go. All right, so let's talk about what we're doing today. I mentioned the drone. So I have the pieces necessary to construct a drone. And the way you do that, of course, is that here, let me just show you here. Because I'm not carrying anything extra. Okay, electricity, controller, drone, boom. And you can see I don't have any other electronic parts on me. Yeah, I'm going to stop and get the trees on the way back. And I do believe we're going to need that for repairs, even though we're probably going to get a lot more. And of course, I'm bringing maintenance kits with me. Um, I probably will switch to my good armor. As a matter of fact, I should probably do that right now. Right, because I am going to be going in somewhere, right? So basically, since I have all of my research mostly maxed out, we are going for a book today, by the way. One that is in the research facility. Um... All you have to do is build it, and then, of course, where is it here? Take it apart, and then, of course, you have all the parts to build it again. Uh, because at my level of research, I don't lose anything. So that means I'm carrying the absolute minimum with me. 
because we're going to be going into the research facility and we're probably going to be looting. I'm hoping to get some really nice electronic items in there, you know, like your copper wire, who knows what else, you know, the boards, fuses, all kinds of stuff like that. All right, so let's get this out of my hand. All right, we're going to be taking the bike because I don't want to waste fuel. That's what it comes down to. There's going to be some looting in there, but at this point, I am starting to run out of things that I really can loot, if you know what I mean. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, I've already eaten the appropriate food and have the appropriate drink in my system. Actually, I have both drinks in my system right now. All right, so store. Let's get out of here. I do hear something moving around, so I don't know where that one is. I'm sure I'll see them again. All right, so what I'm going to do now, of course, is we're going to head out to the... Um, Snowfield, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I load this thing up? Nope. I do have a lot of fuel on me, though. Yeah, when I went to the um, the desert, I also searched through that town, and I found, like, there was a bus station, so I got fuel from that. There was a big gas station, and there was oil there, too, so I did get some, which is the reason I actually have a decent amount of fuel on me right now. Okay, it's a long drive to uh, Snowfield, so I will see you when we get near the mining area. And here we are. You know, I don't think they can get through this fence since it's part of the POI. And of course, we can just close the door, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get in here. Let them beat on it. Oh, yeah, broken. Well, you know, I actually haven't seen the drones do any repairs, so that's fine. Is this guy working? Yeah, this one's fine. Okay, and we have a full battery. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have this thing manually do some items for me. Uh, the first thing is going to be repair. We're actually going to leave it in repair mode. Hold on a second, right there. We'll put it right there. All right, let's do some settings here first. Control. All right, the first thing I wanted to do is repair. 25 meters will make it um, star. It's too bad we don't have like, uh, oh, how about stripe? Yeah, we'll make a stripe. That'll be the repair one. It looks like a construct bot. All right, and uh, then of course, it's going to need some of these to do repairs. We'll have more when we're done over here, by the way, because these guys, of course, are all ready for harvesting. All right, let's lay down some cables here. Now, I don't believe that I actually cabled this to this. So, going out to there. And then we'll cable this over to this. Okay, and it's going to be repairing. Okay, that one's working again. When I leave here, I'm going to leave it in repair mode, by the way. Because the thing is, when the power starts breaking, especially if it's the solar panel, we're ju it's just going to be a, a spiral of death. Okay, it looks like it's done, and everything does seem to be working now. All right, here, put this out of here. I don't need this again. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is harvest, because I don't want to, because there's 10 of these darn things. All right, so we're going to set you for harvest. Go. Okay, it just all of a sudden just started doing it. Now, I am very curious in terms of what it's going to get me. I'm kind of hoping for a nice mix of everything. Now, in terms of the underground facility, like I said, I kind of looked at it and didn't realize. Yeah, I looked over the edge, and there's a stair going all the way down. That's actually really deep. But I think maybe it might be this stair. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's underground, and that is going underground. So we're going to be going down there and hopefully getting ourselves... Where is it here? Here's where we are. Right, this is the book we're looking for. Cold War Weapon Manufacturing. So there's a book down there in the underground facility. And it looks like it's on a, on a table, like a control panel or something like that. All right, so we're going to go down there and we're going to look for it. Okay, are you done? 
Okay, it looks like it gathered everything. All right, so let's see what 10 diggers in this high yield area got me. Okay, let's do a sword here. Well, I got 80 copper. I got 20 of the titanium. I got 20 pieces of titanium. So in other words, I got kind of double what it would normally get. I do, however, notice that I'm not getting anything like aluminum. So I'm guessing maybe I don't have a chance of getting that up here. That's kind of, um, that's not, that's not good. I don't like that. All right. So let's just take this. I was kind of hoping that I would get a little bit of everything. I am getting a lot of iron, of course. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back here because I'm going to need them for repair mode. All right. Now, one thing I want to do is we'll put that over there. We'll put that over there. Oh, we'll take that one back uh, because I'm going to switch this into, uh, no, not that one, T. I'm going to switch this into reload mode. All right, let me drop these into the bike. Because I don't want to clog up my inventory because we might actually get some good stuff down here, assuming that I am right. All right, so store. Here, take one of those, take one of those, and then F, and then put those in there. We did get some sulfur, though. That's pretty good. Oh, and put those in there, too. Actually, I think I need aluminum to repair the bike. And I think I really do need to repair the bike. Yeah, by the way, I am going to be replanting my trees. Yeah, because if I look over here, where is it? Repair? Yeah, it's at 65% right now. So uh, that's kind of a problem. I need aluminum to repair it. So I'm going to have to remember to do that. Apparently, I have a problem with remembering to do that. All right, are you done? Not yet. It's still doing the reloading. No, I do think it's done now, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my maintenance kits, my fuel. I'm going to leave these here, but I'm going to put it back into uh, repair mode. So if anything breaks, it should repair it, especially this, because this is powering this. And these guys here are basically keeping the um, the energy topped off. All right, so we'll check it maybe in a day or two and see how things are going. Next time I come up here, I'm probably going to have more of these diggers over here. And maybe we'll have the other two drones. And, of course, a lot of solar panels. I'm going to have to extend this thing, I think, because I need a lot of solar panels. I did squeeze them in in the desert, but I had more space to deal with. Okay, I guess we're going down. My guess is that the... Oh, is the elevator work? Can I go in the elevator? I guess not. All right, let's go down. And yeah, that is a long way, isn't it? I'm hoping I'm not doing this for nothing. I mean, if nothing else, it's an adventure. I'm sure there'll be plenty of enemies down here and plenty of loot. But of course, I am hoping the underground facility is accessible from here. That is a long way down. Maybe they built it here because they wanted the raw materials. After all, it is a high yield area. Okay, I do see some bad guys, so let's get the blades out. Hello. Oh, he gave me some toys. Okay, I think that was Shocker, wasn't it? That was the guy that's going to be eventually be coming towards our base. Okay, what did we get? I got a crossbow. Oh, tier 4, I'll take it. All right, let's just do some kill in here. Oh, and of course, crude oil. Any opportunity for crude oil is a good thing. Except I didn't get any. Did I get some there? I got some there. All right. Boom. And boom. There we go. Here, give me your bag. You might have some good stuff in there. And I'll take this. Thank you. Oh, there's actually a, uh, a coil container. At this point, I'm really looking for specific ones. I really want the chilling ones most of all. 
But for now, we'll just take everything. All right, let's clear this out. Ooh, more toys. Ow! Didn't really hurt me, though. Oh, a copper helmet with one coil slot open. Too bad. See, that's really all I want. I want items that have more coil slots to them. I think I still have just... Yeah, I still have just four on the shoes. I've never run into anything that was five. They should be a little bit more observant to melee attacks. See, if I fired a gun, they would all be on me. But I mean, look, the little explosions at least, you know? Okay, Special Forces Assault Rifle. All right, so we can do some merging with that. All right, I'm guessing I'm looking for an entrance of some kind. Yeah, I'm not going down there, though. That looks like a terrible idea. Oh, uh, yeah, I looted that already. Okay, is there anything around here, guys? Oh, hi, how you doing? All right, I don't want to destroy this. I want the oil. And then I want you dead. Splat. What were you doing here? Oh, I guess there's a lot of oil around here. Did I see a door? Oh, that might be actual gun rack. Oh. Here. Oh, wow. Check him out. I guess he fell. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Right, what do we got in here? Oh, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5. Tier 5. I mean, basically, that's what we're going to run into at this point, aren't we? All right. But so far, I have not seen an entrance. So we're going to have to focus on that. And just grab that. Might have some extra stuff. Hello? Excuse me. Have you seen an entrance? No? Okay. What do we have here? Copper gloves. Eh, it's got three. It's not good enough, though. Now, I do still need to find one book. It has to do with uh, dunking or something like that. It's like a basketball one. Clearly, that is not the one that I'm looking for. Okay, I do hope I'm in the right place. Because otherwise, I have no idea. Is that a door? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, let me get this. In case I come out a different way. And I'll grab this too. Ow. How very rude. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got more coils. If it comes down to it, I'll just drop the ones that I don't want. I still do have a bunch of space. Okay, I don't see anything else. So this is obviously not what I was looking for. Ooh, what is this? Uh, oh, money and an access card to a place that doesn't exist yet. You know, when it comes down to that next boss that gets added, I think we have five cards for him now. I hope he drops good stuff. Let's see. No, I actually have seven cards. Now, we were supposed to get an update on the, um, the quest line. I'm guessing adding the fourth boss in the first quarter. And, of course, now we're like in the first week of March. So I'm guessing it's not going to be too far away. Okay, I found another door. What do you got? Uh, sniper rifle. Handmade sniper rifle. Okay, this looks interesting. Hello? I see lots of doors. So what do we got here? Just regular stuff. Oh, and we got another one of these. With tier 5, tier 5, tier 6, tier 5, 
tier five, tier five. Oh yeah, we'll just grab all that stuff. Yeah, all right. So I got multiple doors. Let's just see where this one might go. That goes down. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Let's just look around first though. Okay, I got another weapons cabinet. I guess they had their own drilling going on here or digging going on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are they doing experiments or something here? Hmm. I mean, somebody did this whole thing, right? Did I search this? Clearly no. Okay, copper. Iron. Copper. All right, that one is a tier four. I'm not taking that one. Yeah, no, I took the armor, but meh. It feels more significant. All right, I guess we're going down. I'll take those bags. Thank you. Okay, and we'll just grab up all that crude. Potential crude. Seriously? See, my invincibility kicked in when he took a swing at me. Another uh, bookcase. Fencing. Nope, we got that one. Time flow. Nope, nope. All right, we'll go this way. This doesn't look diabolical at all. Oh, oh, is that a rack? Yeah, now that's what I want to see. Iron plates, electronic device, nail, copper wire, plug. Yeah, more of these, please. That's just the kind of thing that I want. That, and of course, crude oil. Is that like an ATM? Be a weird place for it. Splat, you're dead. All right, let me just depopulate first. Okay, I see another door. All right, let's look around. We'll take care of this guy. Splat. Oh, I see some more racks. Server racks. Just take them all apart. Is that a couple more in there? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, that's the kind of thing that I want to see here. Because these are the kind of materials that I want. Thing over here, except of course for some more crude oil. All right, is there anything up here? I don't see anything up here, but I do see a door. So let's see what's behind the door. You didn't hear that. Okay, that is a dead end. I really feel like if I get into one of those big rooms, just fire off a gun or something to at least make it sporting. Oh. Oh, I was kind of hoping for that, um, that 16 times scope that has eluded me. I like the eight times, but I'd like to have a 16 times. All right, let's check the other side. We're looking for like a console. Um, I'll take the bag, thank you. I'll take that bag, thank you. Yeah, you know what? Here, let me just uh, shotgun. 
Okay, now, everybody come to me. That's what I want to see. Come on. Let's make this a fight. No, anybody else? My invincibility kicked in. Oh, oh, is this what I was looking for? Oh, is that it? Boom. Wait a minute, did I get it? Yeah, they keep it on the table there. Cold War and Technology. Used to do research. The master. Oh, this is the Master Vehicle Engineer book? Okay, so this is probably for completing an upgrade on the boat since we've already completed the, um, the armored vehicle. All right, I think there was one part left. Ooh, I see lots of good stuff to loot. Copper wire, fuses, plugs, electronic devices and circuits and all kinds of good stuff. And a whole bunch of ATMs. Can I get money out? Okay, and then we got laptops. And a screen. And a laptop. I wonder what these guys were watching. I guess I'll have to go take a look. Because otherwise, I think we're almost done here. At least the main task. I would think that the final boss wouldn't be here, considering... Hey, let's take a look at the map. See, I got a location over here on the, uh, the research institute when we killed a hazmat guy. So you can see it's a, it's a mission to basically take out the hazmat guys. See, when I get close to that, I'll probably get a location on the book. The, um, the advanced technology one that lets you make the, uh, the plasma swords and the plasma shields, you know, those things that I have already. As a matter of fact, I have a plasma longsword right on me. So I don't know why I'd want to make it. But speaking of which... Okay, what do we got? Copper... Copper, iron, I'll take it. All right, we'll just take these guys. And, eh, it's tier four. I know the iron is tier four too, but... Oh, and I'll take this. Okay, I'm looking at more racks. More of those is a good thing. Okay, I, oh, there's also another weapons cabinet in there, but these are what I want, mostly. Because these have a really good mix of things that I need to do upgrades and make new things. Okay, can I just get that? Okay, but they it does seem as if they were doing some kind of experiments in here that were bad. All right, just a uh, tier five, and I'll grab some of those too. Okay, is there anything else around here? I don't see anything. And I didn't see any more directions. Yeah, these are just bits of iron over here. Although this one's sealed, but you can't actually do anything with it. All right, we'll put that away for a moment. All right, I think we've searched the whole place. Because we came downstairs, and we searched that way, and we searched that way. We were already under there. Unless there's another entrance or something like that. Uh, we went through there. That's just going to be ammunition. Ooh, more of this. I'll, ju I'll just take that, thank you. All right. Here, hold on a second. Come on, come get me. Come on. That's it. That's more like it. They should all just charge me. Not just stand there and just die. See, I can understand that maybe they don't hear that, but if something explodes, they should turn to face that direction, you know? I think that just makes sense. Okay, that's obviously a dead end. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can take these apart. Can I get plastic? And nails and plastic. Yep, 
yeah, I have no idea how I would get down there. More importantly, I have no idea how I would get out. I mean, we searched all these tunnels now, so I don't think there's anything else. And we did get what we were looking for, which, of course, was this, this book right here. All right, so let's get out of here because it's a long way up. Oh, I believe I just missed. Yep. How much crude did I get down here anyway? 48? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's 480 fuel after all. Yeah, I don't know how safe these stairs would actually be. Oh, oh, this is probably my horde. How did you get in? I closed the door. I mean, did they spawn inside? I'll give you a reason to scream. I'm guessing they scream a certain distance away from you. And in this case, it was inside the fences because I'm pretty sure that they can't break them. Can And I don't think they can open the fence either, right? I mean, they didn't open it, did they? Let's see. Oh, they did actually break the door. Okay, then that's fine. That kind of makes sense because they can break doors. All right, so how are we doing over here? Everything's working. All right, so we're leaving this guy in repair mode. Right, so he's got the uh, iron he needs because everything around here that breaks is something that requires a bit of iron to, uh, to repair. All right, so I need more of these. You know, what I can do is I can fill in here, and I can fill some in here, and I can also build some over here. I mean, as we've seen, for instance, um, does this have an out here? Let's see. So this one right here, let's just see distance. So 25 meters. It could still reach things all the way over here. And of course, I could also do the same thing in the other direction over here. I could just fill this whole area and... The one set of drones should be able to handle it. And of course, you know, at the moment it's doing repair work and it could do repairs all the way out here. So I could get more of these guys as well. Uh, I wouldn't have to worry about the breaking as long as we had a drone to do repairs. Uh, more batteries are definitely going to be needed. That way it could deal with the, uh, the night coming and things draining. Because if you have three drones here and the solar all stops... Yeah, it's going to drain really quickly. Really quickly indeed. All right, and we'll put that away. Okay, so we know what we're going to get now from these guys. Um, unfortunately, there was no aluminum. I was really hoping that there was going to be aluminum in there. I mean, if I put a digger somewhere where it could get aluminum, it's not going to be high yield, so I'd only get scrapes of it. So I don't really know what you're supposed to do. I was hoping this area would be getting me a little bit of everything, except, of course, gold. I would understand that. But, I mean, a little bit of aluminum would be nice, even if it was just the little pieces and I could make my own ores out of them. Oh, well, not much I can do about that at this point, is there? All right, so let's just get out of here. Anyway, I do believe that that is going to be it for now. So we put a drone down there, and hopefully that's going to repair things that break. Uh, once I know that my configuration in the desert is functioning, then I can move it up here. I just get a couple more drones. The stuff that we got is actually going to help a lot towards that in terms of um, getting the, uh, the, the components necessary to make the drones. And then, of course, I need more solar panels. I'm going to have to extend that platform. But I want to see that what I did in the desert is actually doing the job first. There's a turn coming up over here, right? Right, right over here. And of course, we searched the underground facility and found the book that we needed. 
And we got a lot of good components. And some stuff that I'm going to be merging with. Hopefully I can get some uh, armor items with a whole lot of coil slots. Especially the shoes, because the shoes are what I'm behind on right now. See, I got five here. I got six here. I got six here, but I got four down there. So I would like to be able to max out more skills, especially the ice one. Because the ice one does work on bosses too. And like I said, we are supposed to get an update this month. And hopefully that will have the fourth boss. And some more content, maybe some more items. Who knows, maybe more traps too. That would be fun. But, you know, we're going to have to see how that works out. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!